All aboard! Welcome to the Storytime Train. Please subscribe to enjoy more videos. No Jumping on the Bed by Ted Arnold In his room near the top floor of a tall apartment building, Walter was getting ready for bed. His father said, If I told you once, I told you a million times. No jumping on the bed. One day, it's going to crash right through the floor. Now lie down and go to sleep. Walter plopped down on his pillow and squeezed his eyes closed. Good night, said his father. He turned off the light and pulled the door almost shut. The room was dark and quiet, except for a soft thump, thump, thump coming from the room above. That's Delbert upstairs, thought Walter. He switched on his lamp. If Delbert can jump on his bed, so can I. Walter jumped higher and higher until his hair brushed the ceiling. When he landed, the mattress creaked, the floor cracked, and his whole bed tipped up sideways. Then down through the floor went Walter, bed and all. Walter's bedroom was directly above Miss Hattie's dining room. She was quite surprised when Walter landed in her spaghetti and meatballs. I was not expecting company for dinner, she mumbled with a mouthful of meatballs. Mmm, said Walter, spaghetti is my favorite. But he didn't have a chance to eat. His bed smashed through the table and kept right on crashing down through the floor. Down and down felt Walter, Miss Hattie, the spaghetti, the bed, and all. Mr. Maddie didn't even notice the bed coming through his ceiling until a meatball bounced off his head. Miss Hattie landed in his lap and Walter splashed into his aquarium. I already had one bath tonight, said Walter. He wanted to watch the monsters on TV, but his bed crunched through the floor and took the TV with it. Down and down fell Walter, Miss Hattie, Mr. Maddie, the TV, the spaghetti, the bed, and all. Walter's Aunt Batty had just moved in. She was still unpacking when Miss Hattie, Mr. Maddie, and a dripping wet Walter tumbled through the ceiling right into a box with her stamp collection. Walter burst through the bottom of the box and down through the floor. Aunt Batty soon followed. Down and down fell Walter, Miss Hattie, Mr. Matty, Aunt Batty, the stamps, the TV, the spaghetti, the bed, and all. Patty and Natty had worked for days building a house of blocks. Afraid that Fatty Cat might knock it over, they shooed her out. Then the upstairs neighbors came through the ceiling. Excuse us, said Walter, we won't be staying long. Then his bed crashed through the floor. Down and down fell Walter, Miss Hattie, Mr. Matty, Aunt Batty, Patty, Natty, Fatty Cat, the blocks, the stamps, the TV, the spaghetti, the bed, and all. The last thing Mr. Hanratty expected to see was a bed coming through his studio ceiling, followed by nearly everyone in the building. If I knew you wanted to see my paintings, he said, I would have tidied up a bit. Then his floor caved in and everyone followed Walter's bed down through the hole. Down and down fell Walter, Miss Hattie, Mr. Matty, Aunt Batty, Patty, Natty, Fatty Cat, Mr. Hanratty, cans of paint, the blocks, the stamps, the TV, the spaghetti, the bed, and all. Maestro Ferlingotti and his string quartet were astonished by the colorful crowd that dropped in unannounced. I love an audience, he said. But when paint splattered everywhere, the maestro wished this audience would leave. And they did, taking his string quartet with them. The maestro's floor was also the basement ceiling. It was dark as midnight down there. Walter squeezed his eyes closed and fell through the darkness until he landed on something soft. 
he opened his eyes. Everything was in its place! And outside the door, his mother and father were talking quietly. Whew! No more jumping on the bed for me, said Walter, as he lay back down to sleep. Suddenly, he heard a creak. The ceiling cracked and down came Delbert, bed and all. Down and down fell Delbert. The end. Thanks for riding the Storytime train. Please subscribe to enjoy more adventures.